Welcome to the American Education Report. There's good news for the United States as our national math team won the International Math Olympiad for the first time in 21 years. Recently, the top-ranked math students from high schools around the country went head-to-head -head with competitors from more than 100 countries at the International Mathematical Olympiad in Thailand. And for the first time in more than two decades, they won. The competition is held over the course of two days. Students work on three math problems each. The U.S. team last won the Olympiad in 1994. Reports in recent years have raised concerns that American math students are falling behind those of the rest of the world. Concerns have also been raised over the years about a persistent gender gap in U.S. math achievement. All six members of this year's U.S. winning team are boys. That is something that actually someday soon might change, said the team's coach. The top 12 people in the country on the United States Math Olympiad happen to have two girls in it. One might say, he said, only two out of 12, that's terrible, but I should say in many years it was unfortunately zero. The coach says it's important to teach math as more than mere memorization and formulas. He says this is one reason perhaps that the subject hasn't attracted as many American students as it could. In the meantime, there's cause for us to celebrate. But the math news is not so good in a county in Maryland, where four out of five high school students failed the Algebra I final. As Maryland's largest school district rethinks its long practice of giving final exams, new data show that steep exam failure rates persist in math with three out of four high school students flunking the June test in Algebra I. Montgomery County school officials say the results reflect a long-standing problem with math exam performance, but do show an improvement in Algebra I from last year, when outcomes were so poor that the district added 15 percentage points to all semester exam grades in that course. In all, 74% of high school students in Montgomery failed June's Algebra I semester end final, as did 14% of middle school students, according to the data. Last year, 82% of high school students and 23% of middle school students failed the exams before the school system added extra points. But district officials point out that failing the final does not mean the students fail the course. In Algebra I, for instance, 83% of high school students passed the course in June, even as nearly three-quarters failed the final. In some cases, the final can have little or no effect on the course grade. Last year, school officials created a five-point plan for math improvement, which includes beefing up math expertise at the elementary school level, adding diagnostic tools to help support struggling students, and increasing professional development. And the debate over charter schools has heated up in Rhode Island as a bill has been introduced in the legislature there that could severely impact the school's ability to exist. Recently, as the legislature considers this bill that could restrict charter schools, students descended on the State House to rally against this legislation that they believe would be a death knell to the future of charter schools in Rhode Island. While some education officials are in favor of the legislation, as they said these schools are draining resources away from traditional public schools, charter school supporters said the future of school choice is at stake. Some have argued that the unchecked growth of charter schools is putting a burden on local school districts, and by extension, the property owners who fund them. Supporters, however, of the schools argue that they provide a productive alternative. The bill is currently working its way through the Rhode Island legislature. That's it for now. For more, go to AmericanEdTV.com and our YouTube channel. And for breaking news, make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter.